Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. Topic of the reading is what is going to be the future of this connection? Whatever connection that you have with your specific someone, you really want to know what is going to be the future of that connection. This reading is definitely going to help you know that. I will be taking oracle cards as well in this read, and uh, so yeah, stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages uh, that resonates and leave the rest for personal needs. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see if you, uh, what is going to be the future of your connection, Pishis, whoever it is that you're currently dealing with. Let's find out. Nine of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. On either deck, we do have the Fool. Wow. Um, this connection right now, you know, it's uh, it seems like you know there's a lot uh, which is uh, um, you know bothering you right now with this person, whoever it is that you're currently dealing with. I do see that this connection is uh, going through a rough phase right now and i feel like you know there's a lot of stress there's a lot of uh, you know unstable energy in, in your connection right now with your person i do see that it's going to continue for some time until unless you both sit together talk through things things are not going to change um two things can be done either you both break free from this connection and the connection and move on with your individual lives if not then you have to work through the the issues right now uh, for majority of you, I feel like you know there is one person in this connection, be that you or your person who wants to talk through things. The other person has their guards up. They are not doing that, you know, that that uh, effort to talk and to openly, you know, discuss what the issue is, which could be the reason why it's it's it has been going on for quite some time. And I do see that it's going to continue. I do see that it's not ending here. It's a, it seems like you know this this uh, issues that you are having that right with your person right now. I I do see it's uh. It's, it's definitely not ending here. I do see that it's it's going to take its time. Um, until and unless you talk through things, things are not going to be sorted out. Um, so I feel like you know, this, this ongoing issue might continue for some of you. Let's see more cards here. What else is coming up for you for the future of this connection? I feel like you know this, this energy that is showing up is not the ultimate future. Because, uh, or maybe I should say that everything that is happening right now it's it's like uh, it's not gonna get you where you are designed to go uh there are certain things that you can work through uh there are certain things which are yet to be like you know uh written in your in your fate with this person so make sure you talk through things so you can switch these energies to uh to what you desire so i feel like you know the control is pretty much in your hands right now it's not fated already that you know you are not going to be with this person you can make things work with them but um, I feel like, you know, one person really wants to put effort, the other person is not putting any effort there. So let's see what else is coming up for you in the future for this connection. But I feel like for majority of you, this is not the ultimate future. The ultimate future might be like, you know, something, um, something that is going to set the two of you free. Be that in a positive way or be that in a way where you are going to, uh, you know, pull apart from each other. But yeah, let's see what else is coming up for the two of you in this connection. Um... I feel like, you know, uh, somebody's really not understanding here. The need to talk is is missing from one person's end. I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it can be your person's energy. It can be your own energy as well, where you're not open, openly, you know, discussing the issues there. But I feel like, you know, for majority of you, it's going to be the energy of your person, for she's, where your person is not listening to anything, not communicating to you at all, which could be the reason why things are going worse. <clears throat> Again, the same energy. If if and only if the effort, the talks start, things will be resolved. Right now, that's the issue. Lack of communication, no communication is the major issue there. The stress that you both are taking can be resolved. The stress that you are taking can be replaced with happy energies. But somebody is refusing to talk here. It can be your person's energy. Maybe they don't want to talk about it. Maybe they don't want to talk about the future. Maybe they don't want to talk about these connections. Uh, you know, where it is heading right now. Why? What are the ongoing issues right now? So I feel like, you know, the stress is real there. Um, for some of you, your person is not ready to commit right now. But I feel like, you know, slowly but surely they will be. Right now, maybe they have their guards up. 
uh, but they are going to be like, you know, oh my God, you know, I feel like, you know, this person is going to change. Maybe they are going to be like, okay, fine, let's talk about it. Um, uh, right now, they are holding themselves back, but I do see that. Seems like, you know, this energy that is showing up, coming ahead, is, is something that your person is going to be like opening up to. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, they are going to be opening themselves up to give it a new try, give it a new chance. And they will be ready to, um, you know, de-stress themselves as well. I feel like, you know, your person is right now also going through the same struggle as you are because uh, this, this situation is definitely affecting them as well. Right now, I feel like, you know, in the times to come, in the days to come, I do see that this, uh, this person who was holding themselves back in this connection, be that you or your person, they are going to come up front. They are going to be talking. Uh, and I feel like you know, somebody is ready to talk about the future of this connection. And I feel like you know, for a majority of you, if it was your person who was holding themselves back to openly talk, discuss, they will be doing that. They will be coming up front. They will be like, you know, talking to you uh, because they can also feel the stress building up against, um, you know, uh, sorry, uh, you know, stress building up for them too in this connection as well. So I feel like you know, it's, it's something that they will be ready to put effort to and they will be ready to resolve the issues. Uh, which they are uh, refraining from right now. So I feel like you know, this person would be getting into the connection and uh, they would be ready to talk about it because they, they cannot take it longer. Um, so yeah, let's see what major shift can you expect coming up for you for this connection with your person. One card please, the chariot. Things are going to move very fast next uh, level. Um, as the communication starts, I feel like and everything is going to start working well for the two of you in this connection. Right now, the issue is your person is not ready to talk, your person is not talking to you. Um, let's take a uh, earthquake cards here, let's see what else is the message uh, for you from Divine. So, let's see. So, we do have our first card, family issues and pressure. For some of you, your person could be having some sort of family issues as well in regards to this connection which could be the reason why they are refraining from talking to you right now, but they will. Uh, for some of you, it could be dealing with another water sign as well. Um, I feel like, you know, for maybe, for some of you, your person is refraining from talking to you because of their family. Maybe their family, they are spending a lot of time with their family right now, which could be the reason why they are unable to talk to you. Um, big, uh, dream big. Um, don't let them take you for granted. I feel like, you know, my fish is, uh, you really have to know your, your self-worth. When you give into a connection, you always give so much into the connection that the other person starts taking you for granted. Now, I feel like, you know, for a majority of you right now, with this connection's energy that is showing up here, I feel like, you know, right now you're struggling to have that happiness around this connection. But yes, um, I do see you pulled away because your person is going to be the one, I feel like for a majority of you, would be the one taking action towards you again, to who would be ready to talk to you again about this connection. I feel like you know, for a majority of you, the divine timing is definitely working in your connection with your person. So we do have one-sided love, release toxicity. For some of you, maybe you felt like, you know, this connection that you are having with your person was pretty much one-sided and you really don't want to deal with it any longer because it was getting toxic. But now your person is really showing in trust in you and this connection again. So they want to put effort. Maybe their family was the reason why they could not uh, talk to you earlier for some reasons. Uh, time apart is needed, much needed. Now, for those of you who are having a time apart in this connection, trust me, this was a much needed thing. So try to absorb the current energies and try to um, take it as a, as a process that the divine is taking you through so you could have what you desire with your person. Instead of taking it as a block or taking it as an issue that you need to break free from, it's not. Everything is happening for a reason and the divine is taking care of it. For some of you, the chariot, uh, you know, uh, energy could be that the divine is taking charge of this connection and it's heading in the right direction. So maybe you just have to just relax. Maybe you are basically, the divine has basically set the two of you free right now from this connection. So you could um, value, you know, uh, respect each other as you should. Instead of like, you know, one person is giving in and the other person is not. So I feel like, you know, the balance and harmony is going to get back in the connection between the two of you. Um, let's take some oracle cards for my fishies. Let's see what's the divine message for you in regards to this connection. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Now, for some of you, you might be losing your faith around this connection. Maybe you have given up already for some of you. Trust 
the process that you're going through right now with your person, it's taking you where you wanted to go. So uh, instead of thinking negative, um, feeling lack of confidence, feeling that everything is, you know, out of control, just relax yourself and try to think positive. The divine has a better plan to go about this connection. So just allow the divine to take care of uh, you and your connection with your specific someone. All is pretty much under control. So try to stay positive. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it helped you, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I did the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.